Welcome to my new Stranger Danger Self-Defense Martial Arts Teaching video on YouTube. In this one I'll be showing all young children if someone tries to abduct you while you're at your when you're waiting for your bus in your front yard or if you're at some bus stop at let's say at far from your front yard like let's say at some store. Let's say you're in your front yard for, for example, or at some store, and you don't know this person saying they're coming to pick you up, take you from school, and you don't know this person, you've never seen them. And they say your parents have come to pick you up. First of all, don't get in the car with them, especially if you don't know. And unless they know the secret password, you don't get in the car with them. And remember, a password can be anything. It can be a family name, it could be a friend's name, or the place of the work that your one of your parents work at. But unless you they know that password, you don't get in the car with this person. But never ever get give out your password, and never get close to the car, because if you do, they could pull you into their car. And remember. Never ever get into the car with somebody you don't know. Another good example. If they're coming close to you to try to grab you, run into your house. And if somebody is at your house, like one of your parents, or maybe um, an older sister or brother, you tell your parent, tell them to call the police and tell them that somebody you didn't know tried to pull you into their car or try to offer you a ride to school. Or, let's say they were walking right up and they were going to try to grab you. If they do pick you up, what you do, you can either, you can kick them in the groin or in their knees or shins. And then when they pick, put you down, run into your house Tell, your, tell whoever's in the house, like one of your parents, or your older sister or brother, or maybe a close friend that lives with you, and tell them to call the police and tell them what happened. Watch again. If they walk up and pick you up like this, what you do, you can kick them in the groin or knees. And then, when they pick, put you down, run really fast into the house and then tell your parents tell one of your parents that's there or an older sister or brother or your or sister or a, another family member or close friend that lives there and tell them to call the police and tell them what happened i'm going to show you one last time and then i'll show you what happens if they pick you up like this with the back bear hug from behind they walk up and they pick you up like this. What you do, pretend they have you. Pretend that you're not going to do nothing. Get them to take their guard down. And then when they think they have you, what you do, when they think they have you, use a front snap kick to kick their groin or knees really hard. And then when they send you, they put you down, run really fast into your house. Or if you're by a, at a store, Go in there, tell someone who works there to call the police, tell them what happened. Or if you're in your home, tell one of your parents that work that tell one of your parents that's there in your home, or your older sister or brother, or another relative or a close friend that lives there, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Now here's how it's gonna look in in combat speed. Kia, kia, kia! That's how it's going to look in combat speed. Now I'm going to show you the back bear hug from behind. They pick you up like this. Let's say you're in the front yard waiting for your bus to come pick you up or at some store. And then some stranger dries up saying that your parents have come to pick you up to take you to school instead of taking the bus. Always remember, if you don't know this person, do not get in the car with them. 
and especially if you've never seen them before or unless they know the secret password. Remember, the password can be anything. It could be a friend's name, a family member's name, like one of your parents, for example, or the place one of your parents work at. But unless they know the password, do not get in the car with them. But also do not give it out. And do not get close to the car, because if you do, they can easily pick grab you. Or if they're getting out of the car to come get you, run into your house, tell one of your parents what, to, what happened, or go into the store and tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or if they go, they come from behind, they come up, and they pick you up from behind like this with a back bear hug, what you do, pretend they have you. Act like you're not going to do nothing to get them to take their guard down. And then when they think they have you, you can back kick their groin or knees. And then when you stun them, run really fast into your house, if that's where you're at. Tell one of your parents what happened, or your older sister, your brother, or close friend that lives with you, or another family member. Tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or, if you're at the store waiting for your bus to come pick you up, go into that store, tell someone who works there to call the police, and let them know what happened. Watch again. Let's say you're at your parent, you're at your parents' house, for example. And then someone comes to say that they're a friend of your parents or your older brother or sister, for example. They're coming to take you to school. If you don't know them, you've never seen them before, don't get in the car with them. Unless they know the secret password. But do not get close enough to their vehicle either. Because if you do, they could easily pull you in. Because always remember, if you get most people who abduct children are hoping they get close you're close enough to the car so they can pull you in. If you don't know this person, do not get close enough to the car. Run into the house or into that or into the store. Tell the person who works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Or run into your house. Tell your, one of your parents who's there, your older brother or sister, or one of your close friends who lives with you, or another family member who's there and let them know what happened and tell them to call the police. Or if they get out and pick you up from behind with the back bear hug, what you do, pretend they have you to get them to take their guard down. And then, when they think they have you, and they've taken their guard down, back kick their groin or knees really hard. And when they've stunned you, when you've stunned, I mean stunned them, and they put you down, run into the house really fast. Tell one of your parents that's there, or your older sister or brother, or another family member is there, or a close friend to call the police or let them know what happened. Or if you're at the store, and Tell the person who's there that, that works there, like the manager or someone that works there, and let them know what happened and tell them to call the police. Now I'm going to show you one last time. Then I'm going to show you how it's going to look in combat speed, and then we'll be done. You're waiting for your bus, let's say at your home, for example, or at some store. Then someone drives up to you, saying that they're a friend of one of your parents or your older sister or brother. If you've never seen them before, don't get in the car with them, unless they know the secret password. It can be anything. It could be a close family member, your parent's name, or a friend's name, or the place your parents work at. But unless they know the secret password, you don't get in the car with them. Also, do not get close enough, don't get close to their vehicle. Because if you do, they could easily pull you in. And if you get the, if they pull you in, you're in trouble. And if they're, or if you, they're getting out of your car to come get you, run into your house really fast. Tell one of your parents that's at home or your older brother or sister or another family member or close friend what's going, what happened, and tell them to call the police. Or if you're at 
that store waiting for your bus to come pick you up, go into that store, tell the manager or somebody who works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Or let's say they come from behind, they got out, they come out and pick you up with the back bear hug from behind. What you do, play possum, act like they got you to get them to take their guard down. And then when they think they have you, back kick their groin or knees really hard. And then when they put you down, run into your house, for example, tell your tell one of your parents that's, that's at the house, or your older sister or brother, or some other family member that lives there, or a close friend, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or if you're at that store, for example, where you're waiting for your bus, tell the manager of that store, or the person that works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Now here's how it's gonna look in combat speed, watch. If they grab you from behind, what you do is play possum, act like they have you. And that, and then when they got their guard down thinking they have you, then back kick their groin or knees. As soon as they put you down, run into your house, tell your parents or your older sister or brother what happened, or a close family member or friend to call the police that lives there and tell them what happened. Or, if you're at that store, go inside, into that store, tell the manager of that store, the person that works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Thank you for watching my new Stranger Danger Self-Defense Martial Arts Teaching video for YouTube. Next Wednesday, I will be doing another Stranger Danger self-defense martial arts teaching video for YouTube. But in this one, I'll be showing all young children why you shouldn't get close enough to a car. If some stranger walks up and says they're a friend of your parents, if you're at the park and they want to give you a ride to where you want to go because, or if, if you're at, let's say, at the park, or at the store because it is a trick. Or if they say they're, they're a police officer wanting to talk to you about a crime, because remember, to show you why adults do not need children's help to find nothing and why you need to watch out for these for this person because adults do not need kids' help to find nothing. And tomorrow on YouTube, I will be doing another weight bar bodybuilding performance video. Be ready for those videos till then. Until then, I'll see you next time. May God be with all the children always.